Hey guys, it's Sadie's Everything here, and today I am going to be doing a movie review on one of my fa on my favorite Indiana Jones movie, Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. All right, um, so let's get into it. Now, the only reason why this is my favorite movie of the Indiana Jones franchise is that like the first 10 minutes of the movie is Indiana Jones's origin story dun, dun, dun. and we see a young Indiana Jones um and and um it's Utah 1912 and Envy is part of scouts and um he goes off with um his scout buddy um and they track down these bad guys and indiana wants to stop them and he does and um indiana is like running and also the bad guys are running and then Indiana falls into like this this pit of snakes. I think like three times, if I remember correctly, three times he falls into the pit of snakes. And then I was talking to my mom, and I was like, maybe that's how he got his fear of snakes. Um. And then in another scene, um, there's this lion. And, um, Indiana finds a whip, and, um, he starts, uh, he starts doing his thing, uh, with the whip, um, to the lion, and, um, he's, like, throwing the whip at the lion, and then I was thinking, maybe that is how he got his famous whip, and, um, I really, really like those first 10 minutes of the movie. And now on to the plot of the movie. Um, the plot of the movie is Indiana Jones. Um, he has to find the chalice that... He has to find the chalice that Christ had at the Last Supper. Um, and because it's been gone for a long time and um so he has to find the chalice that Christ drank of at the last supper and also his dad is missing and so he finds he finds his dad So that's the plot of the movie, and now I'm gonna tell you more of the scenes that I like. Um, now, the first thing I have to say is that I feel like um, the first 10 minutes of the movie, um, Indiana Jones's origin story, should have been a little bit longer, like 30 more, like. 30 minutes like I wanted to see him like go on other adventures like maybe with his dad or maybe it could have been a standalone movie of just young Indiana Jones um and that was um kind of one of the things that made me a little bit unhappy but I, I was still happy with the movie and also, um, in the movie, um, Indiana Jones is teaching an archaeolo- an archaeology class, um, and he is saying, um, that, like, in archaeology, um, you have to find the fact, you can't find the truth, and, um, also, I, I am paraphrasing here, um, 
And then he says in archaeology, um, he says that um, they don't want to look for, they don't look for things on maps or um, they don't look for X always marking the spot. And then I'm like, well, Indiana Jones, you are not practicing what you're preaching because if you remember in your last two movies, that's what you did. Like, that is what you did. You looked for buried treasure and that that was just one of the scenes that I was like, okay, Indiana Jones. And um, the third scene is that um, when Indiana Jones finds his dad, um, he's like, um, I'm trying to help you get out of here. And I think Indiana, if I remember correctly, is like a little mad at him because he hasn't seen him in a long time. And then like two minutes have gone by and they're like, they're like gone. And I thought they should have reconnected a little bit more, like saying, how are you and stuff, but it is a movie. And um, um, a lot of movies want action. They don't want like a lot of exposition scenes. Um, and now on to my fourth thing. Um, yes, it is PG-13. And yes, there is violence, but nowhere near the amount of violence compared to number one, Raiders of the Lost Ark, and number two, The Temple of Doom. And I've already talked about Temple of Doom. So I feel like this movie should have gotten a PG rating, um, but I can't go back in time um, to change the MPAA's mind, sadly. Um, and also, I think Indiana Jones' dad, who's, who's played by Sean Connery, is like really, really funny in this movie. And um, also, um, in the movie, Indiana Jones has like a bunch of disguises, which I really like. Um, for example, um, he's dressed up as um, he's dressed up as a man from France, and he has like a nice French accent, um, and he's trying to get in to something. Um, I, um, um, I I think I forgot what it was, but um, he's trying to get into something and. Um, I really like those disguises that he's putting on. Um, I'm saying a lot of ums in the super video. And also, I think the edits were kind of fast in the movie. Like, um, there's this one scene where Indiana and his dad are going, um, this does place, take place during World War II. Um, so Indy and his dad are like going to like something for World War II. I'm not going to name it. But they're going to something. And then after um, they try to get out of there. Um, and I wanted to see them actually like get out of there, get caught, and get out of there, but it just, um, it just did a quick edit to a Berlin airport, and I thought that was a really fast edit, so, um, I was kind of like, okay, <laughs> and one more scene, um, in the middle of the movie, and also, I, I'm not going in chronological order, 
um, it seems that, um, I am going like a bunch of out of order, um, but in the middle of the movie, um, Indiana Jones, surprisingly, finds a big X in the library, in a library where, um, he tries to find something for the chalice, um, and there's also a librarian there, and um, Indiana finds like a pool and like um, I like um, I like a lot of concert events, and so he finds a pool and he starts banging it on the X, and at certain times the librarian is also stamping the books, and um, when Indy is doing that that and the librarian's doing that Indy is like I mean the librarian is like okay is this something wrong with my stamper I don't know and then to, to me I just thought that was like really really funny and um yeah that is my Indiana Jones in the last crusade review um Thank you so much for watching this video and don't forget to like this video, subscribe if you haven't already. Also I own no rights to the image um, displayed in this video or the background music displayed in this video. Thanks so much for watching and um, see you guys later, bye!